Hi, I'm Shelley from the Whistler Adventure School. The purpose of this video is to help you to navigate our website and learn more about our admissions, registration, and pre-arrival process for students interested in applying with WAS. Whistler Adventure School has a unique and amazing range of programs running full year or six months for Canadian and international students. So let's get started and have a look at our computers and see how the process works. Firstly, you're going to want to check out our programs to decide which program suits your interests and skills. You can go to the Programs and Courses tab and look through the various programs that we offer. I'm going to walk you through this page for our Marketing and Media Full Year program so that you know where to look for all of the information that you need. On this page, you'll see the enrollment months, length of study, and the program overview, outcomes, and certifications as well as the cost of the program, including all tuition and materials fees. The other tabs to check within the program page are the Courses tab, so that you can see the required courses in the program, and the Requirements tab, which details the specific entry and equipment requirements, which vary by program. To learn more about the school and Whistler in general, go to the About WAS page and start at the top. Why WAS? gives you some great general information on the school and the beautiful resort town of Whistler. Check out all of the other pages in this section to learn more about the school, our student demographics, and make sure to read some of the adventure blog entries written by our students. I also recommend exploring the study and work and gap year pages to learn more about the WAS facility, WAS student services, as well as accommodation and job information in Whistler. Now we're going to head to the admissions process, so we'll start by opening the admissions tab. First up is the WAS admissions requirement tab. The requirements for all programs is that students must be a minimum of 18 years old, and for non-English first language students, you must have proof of intermediate English level, approximately IELTS 4.5. For guide training and adventure programs, there are additional physical or skill-based requirements, so be sure to check that requirements tab in your chosen program. For international students who don't speak English as a first language and don't have an exam or certification result, you can take our free online test. The test will take about 15 minutes and you'll be emailed the results immediately, which you can then attach to your application. To confirm the cost and how to pay for your chosen program, go to the tuition and payment tab in the admissions section. In this section, you can also review the school's how to pay, payment policy, and refund policy. Next, we'll review the how to apply link to go through the application process. Now that you've chosen your program, know the requirements, and have your English test results, you can click on the online application form and start to fill out your application. Make sure that you have access to your email as you will need to verify it in step one of the process. Once you've completed all of the required information, go ahead and click Submit and your application form will be forwarded to one of our admission advisors who will be in touch with you within two business days. Next steps are also detailed on the How to Apply page. Your admissions advisor will be arranging for an admissions meeting, which is the last step in the application process. Once your application has been approved, you'll receive an Offer of Admission email detailing next steps. In this email, We'll explain how to pay the non-refundable application fee of $250 plus your tuition deposit. Once we've received your application fee and deposit, international students will receive a Letter of Acceptance, or LOA, and Work Requirement Letter if your program has a co-op work component. Once you've received your LOA, it's time to apply for your Canadian Study Permit. If you need help with your study permit application, your education agent can help you, or you can contact an immigration specialist. We include a list of specialists in your offer of admission email. The tuition payment and materials fees are due 60 days before your first course. For the Marketing Media Manager and Mountain Sport Technician programs, you can pay tuition in two installments. And for Adventure Tourism Winter and the Guide Training program, payment in full is required 60 days before starting. Once your study permit application has been submitted, it's time to start planning your trip to Canada while you await your permit approval. Make sure to check all of the travel advisories and links provided on our site to prepare for your trip, and send your flight itinerary and any required pre-arrival information to our operations manager. 
You will be assigned into your courses 60 days prior to your first course, provided you have submitted a copy of your permit approval letter called Point of Entry Letter and your travel plans. Upon arrival in Whistler, you'll be coming to the school for your orientation and administration meeting where you'll get to meet the staff, see the school and review your course schedule. We hope that you found this video helpful to get you through the admissions process and we look forward to welcoming you to Whistler.